You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohammed Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, visited the BDF General Command. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Commander Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Commander of the Royal Guard Special Force Lieutenant Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense Affairs General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, and senior BDF officers. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the BDF and its staff, expressing thanks for their efforts in protecting. Bahrain's gains and achievements, adding that they are a source of pride for the kingdom. The attendees and His Majesty the King exchanged congratulations on Eid al-Adha, and His Majesty asked them to convey his good wishes to all officers, non-commissioned officers, and BDF members in their various locations. His Majesty the King also received a number of newly graduated officers of the 200th batch from the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the UK. He congratulated the graduates, wishing them continued success in serving their country. His Majesty commended their efforts during their studies, praising Bahrain's keenness to excel in military and civil services to serve their country in the best manner. The graduates expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King for his support and encouragement to citizens to achieve further success in education. The Supreme Council for Youth and Sports First Deputy Chairman, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Al Najma team, the winner of the Asian Handball Clubs Championship and Manama team, which clinched the West Asian Basketball Super League. His Highness hailed Bahrain's sports achievements, praising the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also commended the pivotal role of His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs and SCYS Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in developing sports in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Present were the GSA Deputy Chairman His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Cabinet Affairs Ministry Under Secretary BOC Deputy President His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, GSA Chief Executive Officer Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar, Al Najma Chairman Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, and Manama Chairman Yusuf Zaman, and other senior officials and invitees. His Highness congratulated Al Najma and Manama Clubs and conveyed to them the greetings from His Majesty the King, hailing their landmark performance, which reflected Bahrain's sports strides. He also commended the role of the boards of directors of both clubs and supporting the two teams, which enabled them to bag the prestigious trophies, wishing them further success. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received a member of the United States Senate Committee on Armed Services, Senator Rick Scott. The Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan al-Naimi, attended the meeting. Sheikh Khalifa praised the Bahraini U.S. ties and the ongoing cooperation in all fields, including the military and defense sectors. He affirmed the importance of the partnership between Bahrain and the U.S., which continues to see ongoing development. The meeting was attended by the Director of the BDF General Command's Court, Major General Hassan Mohammed Saad, Assistant Chief of Staff for Operations, Major 
Major General Ghanem Ibrahim Al Fadala, the Chief of the Military Judiciary and President of the Military Court of Cassation, Major General Dr. Yusuf Rashid Flafel, the Director of Military Cooperation, Rear Admiral Mohammed Yusuf, and a number of senior BDF officials. From the U.S. side, the U.S. Ambassador to Bahrain, Stephen Bondi, the Military Attaché at the U.S. Embassy in Bahrain, Colonel Christopher Floyd, also attended. The representative speaker, Ahmed al Msellem, received a member of UK Senate Committee on Armed Services, Senator Rick Scott. The meeting discussed means of strengthening Bahraini US ties and the development they witnessed at all levels. It also reviewed its ways of enhancing parliamentary cooperation. The speaker affirmed the legislative authority's keenness to strengthen bilateral relations under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The Speaker of the Representative Council, Ahmed Lemsellem, affirmed the depth of the historical relations between Bahrain and the UK and the development they witnessed in all fields. He hailed the outcomes of the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the UK, which constitutes a remarkable stage of strategic partnership. He noted Bahrain's keenness on continuing cooperation with the UK in various fields and on working with the private sector to support partnership and cooperation. He added that His Royal Highness's visit carries special importance at the present time and reflects the two kingdoms' common aspirations. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali al-Saleh, hailed the outcomes of the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the United Kingdom, which constitutes a remarkable stage of strategic partnership. He noted Bahrain's keenness on continuing cooperation with the UK in various fields and on working with the private sector to support partnership and cooperation. Al-Saleh highlighted the economic initiatives announced in the concluded agreements and MOUs, which bolster cooperation and coordination. He stated that the visit reflects His Royal Highness's keenness on continuing communication with friendly countries, adding that His Royal Highness's visits to other countries contributing to making many diplomatic and political achievements for Bahrain. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met the UK Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, on the sidelines of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's visit to the UK. He held the solid relations binding Bahrain and Britain, supported by joint cooperation, strategic ties, and long standing relations. He highlighted the support of the leaders of the two countries to joint ties across all fields, supporting the goals of the development process led by His Majesty the King. He noted the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to support joint ties binding Bahrain and the UK. The Minister hailed the advanced level of strategic partnership and steadily growing coordination, particularly in the financial and economic sectors. In the statement, he underscored the importance of continuing the consolidation of joint ties and expanding cooperation towards achieving common goals and interests. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met the Secretary of State for the Department for Business and Trade, the Right Honorable Kemi Badenoch, on the sidelines of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's visit to the UK. He hailed the solid relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. He noted that long standing relations have positive impacts on the financial and economic sectors, in particular, stressing Bahrain's keenness on further reinforcing joint ties towards supporting the development process led by His Majesty the King. The Minister hailed the outcomes of the official visit of His Royal Highness, which would further promote common aspirations. The Kingdom of Bahrain participated in the ministerial meeting of the Coordinating Office of the Non-Aligned Movement, which was held in Azerbaijan, chaired by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Azerbaijan, Jehon Bayramov. The Kingdom's delegation was headed by the Ambassador of the Kingdom to Azerbaijan, Dr. Ibrahim Yusuf Al-Abdullah, where he delivered the speech of the Kingdom at the opening session, in which he emphasized that the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the directives of the government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, is proud of its wise and balanced diplomatic approach, which is compatible with the goals of the non -aligned Aligned movement. He said that the Kingdom of Bahrain stresses the importance of joint diplomatic action in ending wars and settling regional and international disputes by peaceful means, foremost of which is advancing the just, comprehensive and lasting peace process in the Middle East and supporting the rights of the brotherly Palestinian people to establish their independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital, according to the two-state solution and the Arab Peace Initiative. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the countries of the Arab world in celebrating Arab Youth Day, which falls on the 5th of July every year. More in this report. Based on their pivotal role and great status, the Kingdom of Bahrain was, and still, is one of the most interactive countries in empowering youth and relying on them to continue the path of renaissance, construction and progress. Today, the Arab world is participating in the celebration of Arab Youth Day, 
which falls on the 5th of July every year, to confirm the great interest and direct support they give to the Arab and Bahraini youth in particular, under the continuous guidance of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Numerous achievements have been made by the youth of Bahrain in various fields, most notably their active presence in the vital, political, economic and social fields. The youth of Bahrain were distinguished by their unlimited giving in many sports, humanitarian and scientific fields, and they are the pioneers of achievements and the source of creativity and excellence. The Bahraini youth are an integral part of their great Arab environment. Their success is an Arab success, and they are proud of and their progress is progress for all Arab youth all over the world. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Asumi, praised the great interest that Bahrain attaches to developing and investing in the youth sector as they are the pillar of the future. On the occasion of the Arab Youth Day, the Speaker affirmed that Bahrain is one of the Arab countries that took the lead in launching initiatives for youth development and investing their energies in various fields, which is in line with the directives of His Majesty the King to pay attention to youth as leaders and essential partners who have proven their worth through gains that they have achieved that have consolidated their position in society. The Foreign Affairs, Defense and National Security Committee of the Shura Council received a parliamentary delegation from the U.S. Congress and stressed the existing positive relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the U.S. and the importance of strengthening them in all fields, including the legislative work. The members of the committee welcomed this visit, which reflects the common historical relations with the U.S., pointing to the common concerns and interests of the two friendly countries, foremost of which is the achievement of international peace and security, the protection of human rights and the achievement of sustainable development goals. The directives of the cabinet to continue inspection campaigns on irregular workers reflects the government's keenness to address illegal practices in the labor market and the various governments of the kingdom in order to protect all segments of society. More in this report. The cabinet directives comes to tighten control over workers in violation of the labor market regulations in order to address legal practices in the labor market and irregular employment in order to protect society as a whole and to limit street vendors of illegal labor and the various governors of the Kingdom of Bahrain. In this regard, all concerned authorities continue to address such practices in accordance with the provisions of Law No. 19 of 2006 regarding the organization of the labor market and verifying institutions are obliged to deal with the legal workers who are committed to performing the licensed work activity and not to deal with irregular workers to address the negative phenomena resulting from such wrong practices. Achieving the desired results in addressing illegal employment and legal practices is a shared responsibility between the various government agencies and society in order to maintain a stable work environment that preserves the right of all parties, achieve justice and stability, and creates an organized labor market that enjoys a high degree of flexibility and efficiency while providing protection to society.